I came out here to show you the broccoli and the collard real quick. This is my sprouting broccoli after the rain. And it is just full. The entire plant, everywhere you look, is full of heads coming up. Broccoli heads, look at all these. Isn't that amazing? Everywhere, it's just full. It's also got a lot of seeds. Here's green seeds. And then of course, here's the regular seeds the birds have been picking through and grabbing the seeds out. There's a seed in there, see, you can probably just see it. I'm gonna drop it in here. I can't really collect the seeds and say that it's sprouting broccoli because right next to the sprouting broccoli, you can see more seeds. This is a collard plant. See the collard seeds here? Okay, they both flowered at the same time. And by that happening, the bees went back and forth and they cross-pollinated. So I ended up with seeds and I planted some and this is what I ended up with. Now this one I did deadhead the plant to see what would happen. And I did end up, this is lettuce on the top here. I did end up with, you know, broccoli coming through the sides. But I ended up with this long trunk, kind of like, see my collard here? That's how my collards grow. They grow with a long trunk. So my broccolis ended up shooting up with a long trunk, but also large leaves. Yes, I know it's got a little bit, see that comes right off. That's a little bit of the um, powdery mildew. That's because it's been so hot during the day and cold at night. So it grows a little bit, it washes right off. It doesn't affect the plants. But anyways, there's one and here's another one over here. This is a good example of a hybrid. See how big the leaves are and look at the head. It is growing just like a broccoli. So whether it's gonna grow you know, more on the side, it will grow a little bit, but see the cauliflower? So this plant, that's cauliflower, and we, I'm sorry, collard plant all over. And this one is growing kind of like a broccoli, but at the same time it grew big leaves like a collard plant. So it's not going to have, I don't think it's going to be the big bushy plant trees that I've got growing all through here that grow all the sprouting broccoli. So next time when I do want to collect seed, what I'll have to do is make sure that I trim back the collard plant and don't let it flower at the same time. And then I'll be pretty sure that 99% of the seeds, as long as the bees haven't wandered into somebody else's yard growing collard, and to be honest, I don't know anybody out here growing garden, but um, you know, it should be pretty much all sprouting broccoli seeds. And then I'll collect those. But see, this is still flowering. We've got a lot of flowers. And even back here, if you look, you'll see the collard back there. See the yellow flowers? So it's still flowering. So later on, if it goes through a seed stage, well, this broccoli goes through a seed stage all year. So I can do it anytime when I'm in the mood. I'll just trim down all the collard. But that's just kind of an update I wanted to show you on the broccoli and cauliflower, how it will hybridize easily and you'll end up with an a different plant, still edible, still fine, but I, I like the idea how the sprouting broccoli just grows all these heads and you just snap them off and eat all you want. Mmm, so good. I just come through here, snap them off and eat them. You want to make a stir fry and just fill up a whole bowl. It just grows so nice. So with that, just wanted to do an update on my sprouting broccoli and my collards. So anytime you want to collect seeds, just make sure that in the same family there's nothing else at the same time flowering so they don't cross-pollinate. And a lot of people have told me, oh, they bought seeds and it didn't grow true or whatever. Well, they won't if they cross-pollinated if they're close in the same family. So that's it. I'm going to make something with broccoli, I think, tonight. I love my sprouting broccoli. So good. Okay. Have fun, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.